Dark signed in, and we are back on Hamster of Tsushima. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to try and remember the combat controls. Because from what I remember last night, they're, they're a little bit complicated. It might come straight back to me, but yeah, I, I, I've woken up early. Hopefully I can get this done before my door wakes up. Um, and comes downstairs and uh, yeah, disturbs my zen. <laughs> this game is, oh, do you know what, it's so fun. It is really fun. Um, I'm hoping it, it holds up. I don't know if to leave these guys or not. I think I should just leave them. I think they're the two tribes and I don't want to mess anything up. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll crack on with this. And um, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding that little bell so you get notified when I do upload more content. And yeah, let's, uh, let's game on in Biomutant, by the way. Not Hamster of Tsushima. <laughs> oh, you know what? I ain't switched over to gameplay. There we go. Um, right, so I'm heading to this, this tribe. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. It does actually look like a war zone. I'm glad this runs really smooth. I, I need to I need to sort out my NVIDIA so I can see my frame rates again in the top left hand corner. I like keeping an eye on them so I know like what parts of the game um, it's my PC will struggle with. Where's my little cricket anyway? There he is. You want to sit on my shoulder? No? In fact, hold on. You can do photo mode. And this is one thing I love, is because we've got photo mode, we can get a thumbnail. This probably won't be my thumbnail, but <laughs> I just did this by a fluke and I really like it. Should we do that way? No, it was better that way. Flatten to the ground. Where's the to have it like? See, that's pretty cool. I'm probably not going to use this, to be fair. Can I do screenshots while I'm... Yeah, I can do screenshots while I'm uh, <laughs> recording. Anyway, enough messing around. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. I love the narration. It just reminds me of an old PS1 game. No, not PS1 game. PS2 game. What's this? Right. Let's oh. See. Yeah, it's the markers. Yeah, I need to remember them. Alright. Let's go. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. What does that mean? Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. The Sifu's door is always open for newcomers, but he cautions you. They'll expect you to behave, or you'll have to face the consequences. Behave? It's like what? Like what am I gonna do in there? Sibi, la banan a ginkan man. Gerade na fall of hut hut must guy la wood there. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore yeah, the that's peace. that's what I want to do. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. <laughs> he heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. 
It seems you believe in helping your next. Yeah. And that's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. <laughs> the Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. My Muma. <laughs> your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. Yeah, that is the way I'm gonna go. Oh wait, what does this say? They want to. Oh yeah, just warning. Sets the game's end goal to save the tree of life. Choosing destiny for what? Choosing destiny for defeated rival. See if it's is limited to unite or do. He was hoping you'd beat <coughs> them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. That Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Hmm. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Hmm. Okay. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. <laughs> Wait, I can earn that weapon? Both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. It sounds like the only way forward in this game. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Cool, cool. I love, I love, you know, I love it when they put like choices and stuff in the game. I, I, I hope that I feel the impact of my choices at the end of the game. Thanks you for rising from your past to be a better person. <laughs> Says you'll see each other later. Is that one of the mushroom people from um, Mario? I'm not sure what they're called. Can I hop over this wall? Yeah. Whoa. Alright, I, I, want, I want to get into combat again. <laughs> Pass through the cave. Okay. I'm glad there's no stamina on this thing, you know, for running. I love the aesthetics. It does, it does kind of feel like I'm playing a Ghost of Tsushima again. Which, by the way, might be jumping back into since I've heard there's a standalone DLC coming out soon. Like an expansion. Kind of like what they did with uh, Spider-Man and uh, Miles Morales, which I still haven't played yet. I'm waiting for PS5 to play that. So if it was on PC, I would have played it already, but 
I want to play it with them high quality graphics. I ain't gonna PS5 anytime soon though, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's hitting me frame rate a bit. Oh, here we go, combat, just what I wanted. Whoa, what? Oh, that thing's creepy. Yes. Yo! That was sick. Didn't drop anything. So wait, can I just go down here? Genshin Impact recently, I was thinking oh, I could just stick to the walls. Where did that other one go? I thought it would have dropped some. Guess not. Visit your childhood village. I didn't even realise it said that. I'm guessing we just follow this path. I just want to think. Beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution. The this is one of the trolls from um, God of War. Warmed and unfurred. It full on looks like one of the trolls. What the? <laughs> Why is this a thing? I'm so confused. Oh, took a hit there. Not as hard to fight though. I'm so confused. What are you doing? Go backwards, that's it. Oh, it looks like they were fighting each other actually. Oh. Kind of feel sorry for it now. <laughs> Usually in these sort of games, they just make the bodies disappear. I just phased right through that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. What was this? I can still have my cricket following me. Where is it? <laughs> I think so cute. Right, it just follows you around. I wonder if it will come into the story at all. Or if it's literally just there. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. I don't know, it won't really draw me close. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's because it's his home village, that was it. Let's see. Cool. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. 
It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. What's happening? Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Goop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. Good. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. I'm sure like to. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. What? He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. I'd be grateful. And he'll be honored. He's gonna throw me in. <laughs> can swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy. When you're out of key energy, you'll drown. <laughs> That's all cute. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, I need to keep at it. Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot oh, something. There's our Moomer. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. <coughs> you should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. <laughs> the thing is with that swimming now, I wonder if like it'll um like you'll be able to swim for longer. That doggy paddle's so cute. <coughs> Sorry. He has another familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. It's he thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. <laughs> you should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Yeah, let's dig in the trash. Rather him than me. There we go, there's one more over here. He wonders what usefulness you found. Yeah, still I'm not sure. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Um. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. <coughs> nice one, crafting. Crafting weapons. Oh, what? Select the handle. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. I like look of which handle was it? Where was it? Was it that one? That looks pretty cool. The thing is, they all have their own perks as well. What? <laughs> Banana. Banana. Alright, back around to the beginning. There was a couple here that improved arm pierce. 
you got the damage as well here. Ooh. That's got some power behind it as well, that one. Wait, it's 102. That one. Ooh, it's ugly though. Let's, uh, let's grab that one. Oh, I can't do anything else. Sick. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. <laughs> He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent. A second sword. <laughs> it looks like she's starting to lose her patience. All right, we best go. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. Hmm. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. I don't even know which way she went. Oh, here we go. More distractions. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. <laughs> firing arrows at me. Oh, sh sugar. Gotta be careful. Alright, let's take him down first. Alright. Nearly finished slicing these kids up. <laughs> what? She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Mm. Let's do it the kind way. <coughs> she says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully there's no more distractions. Here we go. Let's go see Muma. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. If you tell me, ma. <laughs> He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Oh, wait, can we change clothing as well then? 
Laundry pile. Ah, I saw where the next one was as well. Just around the corner. He's curious to see what you found. <laughs> He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. What? Is that too he says pool? it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Right. When looting, you'll find add ons. These. Can, these can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item to upgrade armor and clothing with items select a slot and add on then press X oh okay I get you by add-ons So armor then. Wait, what was that? Seven. You don't go up too high. See, some of them offer the uh, resistances as well. Oh, eight. Handy. What's the difference between these two? They're exactly the same, but one costs more. Let's get a more expensive one. The stuff <coughs> might be too edgy for his taste, <laughs> but it looks sharp on you. What the heck is that? That's uh why is the coding called that? You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. As if the, go the game's code came up in the subtitles. <laughs> After seeing that, I've got this feeling the game's going to crash at some point on me. Muma's going to be mad. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. <laughs> she says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. I like how they've kept the colours um, for Moomer and Popsy. Like the ones, I, the ones I picked at the beginning. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. <laughs> Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo. What you got for me? You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Ah. Cash the autom automaton. <laughs> Come here. Ah, oh, what? I nearly had it. What about my um? 
I don't know, I got my net. I don't know if it's catching, no buttons come up or anything. I don't get it. What? I'm pretty sure a button keeps coming up. Don't let me get stuck on this all day. Ah, I'm pretty sure the X keeps coming up. Oh, what? This is irritating. Oh, why? She. There we go. <coughs> Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. It's antenna. A piece of scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. Ah. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper. More like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Daddy? Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Luca Lupin from setting the world on fire. Lupin. So this is what happened to his village then. Your Mooma urges you to blaze <coughs> a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Whoa. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Daddy? Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. <laughs> Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Oh, what? I don't think we'd be in, like, joining in on this fight. Kick my mumsy. Moomsy, whatever it is. Here we go. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. One. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Following. I'm not controlling this by the way. I'm doing it by itself. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Wait, what? Alright, let's do that again. <laughs> Obviously failed at that. Alright. Yeah, I think we're not fighting Lupa Lupin, but. Gotta dodge him or something. Oh. 
man. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. Oh my god, what is this issue? What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Wow, I hate Loopa Lupin. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Oh wait, we can level up. Character. Yeah, wait, how many points? Oh, one point. Um, I think... Uh, it's a great our look, actually. Looks good. <clears throat> Always like a great look. Well, go to mutations, tab to unlock side powers. Ooh, that looks good. That looks even better. Yes. To use an ability. Some all great points here as well. Ranged combat. Wait. Um, already got that. Jewel wield. Yeah. Perks. Alright, I've got nothing for that. my key so it's using my key crafting menu in this section you can change equipment and weapons circle icons represent part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors your favorite your favorites can be saved in the outfits menu go to the crafting tab to craft weapons and modify gear <laughs> yes oh sick Right. Wait. What? I don't get it. All right. So you can modify. Main hand off hand. 
Where's where's this these numbers here though? I don't understand. Now, how do I know how much I've got? Oh, I'll leave that as it is because it looks like it doesn't really do much anyway at the moment. Nothing's going to waste. Yeah, let's put a little add-on on. Oh. Oh no, I need to go to crafting, don't I? Oh, that is crafting. Automaton looks. It's like it's got look health injector glider turret boost. Looks handy. It's like I can put that on him. Where's my where's my my ranged weapon? What? How do I select my gun? doesn't bother me. So sick. <laughs> See if it works on hard ground as well. Yeah, it does. Thought it'd be a difference with it. Oh, do you know what? So cool. That is actually really cool. This could be my thumbnail. Could be. Don't know yet. I don't know. That would make a good thumbnail, to be fair. Which means... That will be my thumbnail, probably. Maybe. Let me just take a uh, screenshot of it as well. So I might be able to get high resolution, then just move it over to the image. But yeah. I think we'll leave it there. I'm, I'll probably record more tonight. Probably not have another... Three. I need it's three. I need um, if I want to uh, if I want to fill the week out because I've only done two. I did one last night and this one. But yeah, we'll leave it there. And um, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my content, is that right? Yeah, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding the little bell so you get notified when I do upload more content. Oh my gosh, I, I should probably go back to bed. <laughs> I can't function properly. But yeah, that's it. I saw it signed out. Cheers.